Shobibu for joining the ICAC team. Speaking to the heads of departments and agencies where independent commission against corruption, or ICAC interim chairman Thomas Elu, and the Chief Secretary Ivan Pomalyu. Chief Secretary Pomalyu says corruption is deeply rooted in the society. Therefore, ICAC was established to help prevent and fight against corruption in the country. The Global Corruption Perception Index of 2022 scored PNZ 30 out of 100. So the lower the number, the, the more corrupt we are. The effect of corruption is evident in our society. It is affecting uh, development in all aspects. It discourages foreign investments, thereby limiting opportunities for affordable services, opportunities for more employment. It reduces local business opportunities to flourish and increases uncertainty for uh, ongoing and businesses that are running. It uh, undermines the rule of law, weakens the institutional foundations of both the government and the private sector. Mr. Pomalyu further states the anti-corruption strategies of ICAC. Ethical leadership and setting the tone at the top are the foundational prerequisites for preventing and combating corruption at all levels. That is the reason why the fight against corruption must start with us, the leaders, and within our respective departments and agencies. In order to better understand the roles and responsibilities of ICAC in preventing corruption, the heads of departments and agencies were educated to take lead in their organization. Interim ICAC chairman Thomas Elu explained the functions of ICAC. The purpose of the commission is to contribute once again in cooperation with other agencies to prevent, reduce, and combat corrupt conduct. The function 220D of the constitution, the ICAC performs its functions through its four pillars. An, uh, an ICAC uh, investigator has the same power as that of the police uh, officer that can be able to make arrests, uh, who can you know, issue summonses for information, powers to obtain warrants, search, arrest, interception warrants. Mr. Elu further added that ICAC is not taking away powers of Ombudsman Commission and the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary but complements their roles and responsibilities by concentrating on very serious systematic corruption in the country. Estagane, National MTV News.